No more mismatch paint coloring comments, guys. This is the last video. No more. It's getting fixed. Was that you? What do you guys think about the paint? Moving on, let me show you how. Last summer, I traded my 2018 Chevy Colorado Duramax diesel for a clapped out 2001 Porsche 911 Turbo. So I'm making a hasty last second decision to go look at a 911 Turbo. I've wanted one of these for a while now, but I found one local. It's definitely 100% clapped out. I, I really don't think I'm gonna buy it. Was it my best decision? Probably not. All right, it looks good from far away, but up close, uh, we'll see. I am no longer in a Colorado. I am now in a 996-911 Turbo. Now guys, I'm happy to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel at any time. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the United States. For example, one of their knives, The Forge, is Damascus steel, and it's made by Buck and Bear Knives located in Pennsylvania, which is where I am. Every month we introduce our members to cool new products, outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more, even live oysters. And this is based on a preference quiz that you guys fill out. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, but costs you only a fraction of this value. And before it's shipped, you'll get a preview of what comes inside to decide if you'd like to one, keep it, two, swap it for a different box, or three, skip the month entirely for no charge. You only pay for what you want. Now here in front of me are items from three different boxes that I got. This one here is called Chill. And as expected, it is a cooler. Really, really nice quality cooler. And something that's really cool about it is built in this little sleeve here is a nice metal bottle opener. Plus it's got a zipper bag inside the lid. It's got a zipper bag in the front, plus a strap. Another one of the boxes I got was the Weekender. And it is this really, really nice quality bag you could use for just about anything. And you can fit all sorts of goods inside there, whether you want to put your laptop inside there or clothing for a weekend getaway. The other box I got was the grounds box, which has this, which is actually an inflatable seat. Comes with this really nice knife and sheath reusable zip ties, and a camp carabiner. And these items I'm actually gonna keep in the cooler because these are all things that I would associate with camping. Now to get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description and enter Matt Ross 20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com forward slash Matt Ross 20. And again, this gets you 20% off your first box of awesome. Big thanks to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. Now, among the host of issues that this car has had mechanically, most of them are fixed, not quite all of them, but we are getting there. The glaring issues with this car from the beginning have been the awful, awful paintwork and questionable decision-making by the previous owner. He painted the roof black, put on a GT2 rear wing slash trunk, and painted the top of the wing black. He had some absolutely horrendously ugly aftermarket front bumper on the car that didn't fit. How does this even happen? And like, what? What is this light? He painted the mirrors black and he painted the side vents black. Now we're not gonna get into any of the other questionable decision making. Those were the major paint issues. Now since that time and since the front bumper fell off and was not secured other than with zip ties by me. Some really, really poor installation of this really, really poor bumper. I decided I want to swap on a new bumper. I looked for an OEM turbo bumper, but those were very expensive for being used. So I actually got an NR Auto GT2 front bumper to sort of match the rear. And at the same time, you guys convinced me to paint the side vents, the door handles, the rear bumper all at the same time. But that's when we ran into a little bit of an issue. My good friend Mustafa actually painted the parts for me. He gave me a smoking deal because he's just a really nice guy. Check out his Instagram and most importantly, check out his new YouTube channel channel m-a cars i'll link them below and post it on the screen he's gonna have some video footage of this car getting painted as well now i was supposed to give him the gas cap to the car so he could match the colors but i don't know if i forgot or if i looked up how to take it off and it was a pain but it, it basically didn't happen so i gave him the parts i told him the color of the car and it wasn't his fault it was my fault he painted them the color of the car and they didn't match now i believe that's most likely because of the previous owner i don't know if the car was crashed or if he just decided to have some things painted but the paint on the car didn't match to begin with 
lift even before I put these different parts on. There were dents in the hood. It looked like he shut front trunk on top of, you know, a suitcase a dozen times. Huge, huge dents on the roof. Down by the side skirts, that area was all damaged. There was a ton of damage on this car. Thankfully, Mustafa is fixing all that. But first, I got to take this car apart, save him and his body guys some work. It's the least I can do. Guys, the day has come. It's finally time to get this thing ready for paint. Am I painting it? No, <laughs> but I got to get a bunch of stuff torn off of it. And sorry in advance, I'm pretty freaking sick, but <coughs> the car has to go out tomorrow. So I got to get as much stuff off of it as possible in preparation for the new paint job. Things like the headlights, the tail lights, the rear windshield wiper arm, side marker lights, mirrors, vents, door handles, a whole bunch of stuff is coming off. Now this isn't gonna be a total restoration paint job. I'm not taking off glass, I'm not taking off rubber trim and all that. I'm just gonna take off mainly what's necessary. I'm not expecting perfection. This car is far from perfection. go down because that's why you should remove the battery well that's a very very solid start so far let's move on to the front end got the headlights got the Porsche Porsche badge marker lights yeah going going well mainly because I've already done this before From the looks of it, and I didn't look this up, so it's bolted on. It's easier than double-sided tape, but I can just pop it back on there afterwards. I take that back. I'm assuming this is also double-sided taped on there. It's in good shape though, so I don't want to mess it up. see the different color yellow under the badge. The OEM yellow, I'm assuming. I'm gonna be nice and try to save them some work. The 
this work for the paint guys? I want to get these moldings off and I wasn't planning on taking this off but basically just to peel it up to get to this it's coming right out. Might as well just get it out of there. Hopefully I can get it back in. I'm, I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Paint lines in there. Yep, yep, yep. I suppose I'll take the rear one off as well. Now that, I'm not, I'm not too sure how easy that's going to be to get back in there, but hey, it's going to have a nicer paint job, so it's worth it. I just need to figure out how to get these off. Oh, yeah, sure. I want this to be painted, so I guess I'll take these seals. Man, I'm taking way more seals off than I was planning on. This is snowballed for sure. But again, I'll be happier in the end. This is gonna have a this is gonna turn out to be a you know a better end result. Excited to get that massive dent out of there. That just looks horrendous. I would assume it's a good idea to get this off here as well, otherwise I think overspray is gonna come through get on that black plastic, which wouldn't look good. Oh, I didn't know there was a light there. That's never worked. To get a new bulb in that, that's kind of cool. Something else I want to do is I'm kind of over these black pieces. I'm going to pull them out and uh, maybe just have him paint those. I do think it looks better without. But now there's holes in there. So paint these yellow to match or fill in those holes. I don't know. Either way. I wasn't expecting it to be this much. This has dirt all over my face. Anyway, this is a lot of parts, but I'm excited to see the end result. The car is, uh, wow, yeah, she's looking rough. In a couple weeks, she's gonna be looking really, really nice. I'm pretty happy with this assembly. Now I just need to figure out how I'm going to package all of these things inside the car while keeping them relatively safe. And I don't know that these parts are going to be painted. My buddy said to take them along. He might end up painting everything just to make sure it's a perfect match. But these things don't technically need painted, but I'm going to put them in there anyway just in case he decides to do that. That being said, it's time to load everything up in the car. Get ready for transport. Just keep finding more things to take off. Not sure about this third brake light, but I'd like to get it out of there. Oh. All right, that wasn't too bad. Now, from what I read, I think this comes off easily, but I don't think that does. But I believe that requires removal of that window, which I'm not going to get into. I don't want to pull that out. Just like that, this thing's loaded up and ready for transport. Trucks come tomorrow, so we're gonna haul this thing out of here. Shouldn't be gone too long, cause, well, it's not that big of a car. It doesn't need that much work. There's no rust. It's not a paint color change. Hopefully it's relatively simple and we'll have it back in like a week. But I'm super pumped to get it back, cause it's gonna look killer. Here it is in the shop, ready to be painted. Yeah, ready we're to going pa to paint it for him. And it's gonna look- I'm so excited to see it all yellow. One not color. two shades of yellow. One color. Uh, one yeah, not, color. not 50. Nah, you it'll know all be, gonna... It'll all be beautiful like that. I'm actually going to do something. I'm going to paint this yellow. This is darker yellow. <laughs> this is a little lighter yellow. <laughs> then we'll see the comments. <laughs> <laughs>
No more black up here. Big dents will go away. Dents in the hood. Do I need that top black? No. No, everything yellow. All right, sound good. Thanks, buddy. Good luck. All right.